Well, I hope you had a chance to get outside and enjoy the nice conditions we had across the area today. Live Viper Air has been sweeping clear all day long and should continue to sweep clear as we head through the overnight hours as high pressure is dominating our weather pattern out to the west. But as we go into Saturday and into Sunday as well, a few changes come along to the forecast. That high pressure area starts to dissipate as we go through the day on Saturday. And into Sunday, a cold front starts to push into the area. And that will bring us a chance for some scattered showers and storms, especially in the afternoon hours. But a few of those showers and storms could last into Monday morning as well for your morning commute. Let's take a look at our local Vipercast model. You can see we'll start off tonight with most partly cloudy skies, excuse me, across the area. And as we head through the overnight hours and into tomorrow morning, more of the same partly cloudy conditions across the area. Into tomorrow afternoon, a few more clouds build into the region with so that afternoon heating that helps build those showers and storms up. Not expecting any showers though across the area, only about a 10% chance. So we go into Sunday though, showers do build in to the forecast and some thunderstorms arrive as we go into the noon hour. A few of those storms could even produce some heavy rainfall and give us a chance for some localized flooding in some areas that saw a lot of heavy rain last week. Let's talk about the temperatures, 80 right now in Hampton, 76 in Virginia Beach, 75 in Currituck. 80 is further inland in Wakefield and Franklin. We're at 81 in Melfa on the eastern shore and 80 as well in Gloucester. Through the day tomorrow, we're going to start off rather brisk in the morning for July. 68 degrees as you wake up at 6 a.m., 73 at 8 a.m. Warming up to around 82, though, for your lunchtime hour, 85 as we go through the 4 o'clock hour and cooling back down into the upper 70s as we head into the evening. A quick look at the tropics. Tropical Storm Dorian is out there right now. Not looking too impressive, though, on the satellite presentation. Winds only at 45 miles per hour, gusting to 58, and moving off to the west around 22 miles per hour. And over the next couple of days, it's going to track off towards the Lesser Antilles. But you notice it becomes a low pressure icon instead of a tropical storm icon. The National Hurricane Center is expecting it to dissipate to a tropical depression or potentially even a tropical wave as we head into Sunday and Monday and Tuesday as well. And as we go into Monday and Tuesday, there may not be anything left of this storm, which is certainly a good thing around here. We do not need any more heavy rain and certainly not a tropical storm this early in the season. So. For your forecast tonight, 71 is what you can expect. Just about a 10% chance for an isolated shower across the region. To, into tomorrow morning, 68 degrees as you wake up. Slight chance of a shower around 10% as well. Tomorrow afternoon, though, the rain chances go up a little bit to 20% with temperatures rising up into the mid-80s across the region. With your 7-day Viper forecast, you can see over the next couple of days, we stay rather warm. 85 degrees on Saturday, 87 on Sunday, 86 on Monday as after that cold front comes through, leaving us with a chance for some showers and storms on Sunday and into Monday morning. 87 on Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, and a 20 or 30% chance for an isolated shower storm each of those days.